Today's video is about painting anemones in watercolor on rice paper. I'm going to have a rough sketch first. I'm positioning two open flowers as a main, and I'm going to add some flower buds and leaves. Anemone has many thin pointy leaves and a black heart at the center of the flower. I just placed my rough sketch underneath of the rice paper. The rice paper is so thin, I can see the sketch through the paper. I just loaded my brush with a watered down bluish purple first, then added a dark purple with the tip of that brush. That way, I can paint the highlight and shading at the same time. If it's not easy to make a petal with a brush stroke, you can break it to many small strokes. As long as the paper is still wet, they will blend together beautifully without the blending brush touch. I'm trying to give a little space between the each petals, so petals can be separate. Here's my messy palette. I want to show you how I loaded my brush. With my clean brush, I grabbed watery bluish purple first, then added the dark purple with the tip of the brush. I'm trying very careful not to touch other petals. Because I loaded the two colors on a brush, I can finish a painting really quick. It's like a drawing with a paintbrush. I'm making a flower buds now. I want the each tiny petal to show, so I'm switching the starting point on the each petal painting. That way, I can give a big contrast between the petals, and then it will show better. I think I have enough flowers, so I'm moving on to leaves. I prepare a light green and a dark green for the leaves painting. Same idea as a flower painting, I loaded my brush with the watery main color first and adding thick consistency darker color with the tip of the brush. I wanted to make leaves very freely, so I'm moving my hands very loose and free.
the tight detail will be center of the painting, so I like to make edges loose. I'm adding some darker green for the shading. I wet the center part of the heart and put a dark color on the edge of the wet spot so it could have a highlight at the middle. I'm adding thick consistency dark blue-gray dots around the heart. I'm adding thick consistency light blue purple as a highlight of the outside dot and light yellow for the inside dot. Because the rice paper is so observant, the color gets a little lighter as the paper gets dry. So I like to add some deeper shading on them. And I'm covering some white spots which I left earlier to give a space each petals. I just opened my brush bristle to make a line texture on the petals. Even though it looks strong right now, it will get faded a bit later because the paper is still wet right now. Okay, that one is a little too dry, so I'm gonna wet the surface a little bit. I'm going to use a gold as an accent around the heart. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.